do you guys want to know something that I just discovered? Is that if you head over here and activate this strange barrel once again that is filled with what I'm assuming is very delicious aged rum, and you go and roll it on over to the switch here and activate it, then 95% of the time you will always get a recovery mushroom, and that is good business when dealing with this area because, by god, Deathsicle can be a bitch. However, you can only do it in this room, and you can't, like, go back and get infinite flowers until your heart's content because, well, that would be a little silly. Welcome back to Super Mario RPG, you guys. Oh man, we are back for some sunken ship business, and we had just gotten finished discovering the illustrious password to their hoard of treasures and things. For whatever reason, it's pearls, but it resets itself every time you leave the room, so let's get that situated and summon upon the very strange creature that entices us with its hentai goodness. <laughs> let's go in there. Alright, and here we have it. We are finally squaring off against the legendary creature that besieged this lovely ship and their tentacles. These lovely, gruesome tentacles have come out to kill us. They're also very fluent in the English language, so food is on them for taking that up with the ship members. I'm sure they appreciated it. Now, uh, strangely enough, these guys are actually uh, quite weak to fire, which is, you know, all good business and things like that. Just gotta make sure not to tap it too fast, unless we decide to suck it up. And also, because I'm feeling particularly gutsy and uh, luck has not been on my side, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Lucky Jewel here to make up for all of our past nuisances, because I've messed that up far too often while, you know, leveling up there, so that was unfortunate. Anyway, Geno Boost on himself, because this will be pretty useful for us. Excellent, beautiful. We won't have to do it on the princess because, well, we don't really need to. It would be silly to do such a thing, right? Anyway, we'll go take this off. Man, if only we had something that could take out large groups of people with a single fire attack, that would be super amazing. Also, that didn't kill it, because I was being sassy, and I was being a dick. Whoops, and apparently Peach will bitch slap the hell out of that tentacle in its godforsaken existence. Let's just finish this off. There we go. God, my fire was super weak there. I think the masher is also pretty decent here, yeah. Excellent. So, moving forward through this incredibly empty treasure hoard of theirs, and we have more sets of tentacles. That's nice. That's very nice. Um, should we just slap one to Helen back and call it good? There we go. Get out of here! We don't want you on the ship! Oof. Uh, there. Just gonna keep on slapping us. Thank you. <laughs> and I guess Gino could probably start working on this one. Gino and Princess is like, stay back, Princess, I've got this covered. <laughs> I've covered wars, you know. Alright, so we will go ahead and fireball this guy up. I wonder why that last one did so little damage. We weren't scared or anything, so... And that one did like a hundred more that time. What in the world is going on here? There. Just gonna slap those guys. Man, these guys are being very, like, not shitty about their attack patterns here. They have this really suggestive one with the implications being so inappropriate that I don't even want to go into explanations. You guys already know the one, but I'm surprised that they have not done that yet. I'm quite surprised. Excellent. Alright, so let's move forward, men, to conquer our final destiny. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare your Christian Bale, I guess, meme pictures or whatever. I hate to call them that because we've got ourselves our boss here. And he is so beautiful. I'd like to welcome King Calamari. Yes, we are fighting a straight up Calamari. And look at it, you can see his like where we severed his tentacles before and they're just oozing out of them. That's depressing. Anyway, I fucked up pretty hardcore and I bought an ice bomb, which is not only 50 coins more expensive than fire bombs, but also half effective as fire bombs on this guy. So we're just gonna get rid of it right here because god damn it. And that stuff and I got a freebie! Oh, alright then. I don't feel too bad after all. Also, ooh. Ugh, stop that! Inappropriate behavior is very inappropriate. There we go. So we'll go take this guy out. And I think I'll just have Mario use Super Flame. Because why the hell not, right? Super Flame. All the way to Georgia. As well as the glitching of the frames there. Beautiful. And then Peach, you can take this one out. Ugh. It's like, you will not do anything inappropriate to me today. You're just gonna miss every shot. 
All right. Um. Yeah, King Calamari. There we go. I'm still surprised at how low of a level we are, though, which is weird. I think I meant I didn't mention this. I did level up in the last part when I said I would. Mario gained two levels, and Peach learned Sleepy Time. I don't think I mentioned that. It wasn't very much though, since the enemies don't really respawn back, but they're also kind of dicks. So. Anyway, and he's dead. <laughs> However, he will still leave one very animated limb left to our own things. It's like, ugh, I will keep fighting till my last inappropriate breath. I keep missing Peach's timing there. Do you want to do it? I'm giving you mag. Never mind. We don't need to give him the time of day. And I keep. Why do I keep missing that? It's silly. <laughs> And with that, we get 100 coins for that. Ooh, I was just gonna say, and or we could double it. You know, at this point, even if we lose it, I don't really even care. I honestly don't. It's fine if we do. God damn it. That's what I get for saying that. Honestly, we are fine on coins. So, at least it was an experience where I wouldn't otherwise be able to get this lovely level up with Gino. Where he learns Gino World, yes! Such a good, overpowered weapon that is often quite underutilized by players of the variety of Let's Players. We'll go with Magic Attack so that we can show that off a bit later. But anyway, we just took out the goddamn Calamari that was plaguing this ship for the past 30 years. So let's move forward. Ooh, for some, for some Dry Bones goodness. Actually, there's lots of cool shit that we can do later on. Uh, except for this. This part's annoying because we just have to uh, dodge bullets. God damn it. That always somehow manages to happen. I always get hit by one of those, even though it seems like everybody else never does. All right, Fink Rats, get the hell out of here. Don't want to deal with you assholes. Ooh, this is also kind of tricky. You don't want to go in between there because there's going to be an asshole just chilling in there. I think it might be a Dry Bones, but he just sits there for a while. So we'll hop up this. Excuse me, timing, please. This is how we. Okay, that's very tight. Um, so over here, look at this, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's a hundred coins right there. We just recouped our losses, and then some, except not really. Except the right here. Look at that. Two hundred coins right off the bat. This area takes care of you. Look at that, two hundred coins. God damn, that's amazing. Uh, so if you're really good at this game, you could probably jump right over that. I have never done that before. Oh man, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> well, not. I knew you could, obviously, but I never knew I could do that after missing this stupid jump so many times. Huh, might be because I switched audio sources that, you know, I could time it, but whatever. The other way you do is get around here where you see Mario's doppelganger. This is kind of weird and unusual. Who are you, my good friend? Whisper in my ear who you might be, and then maybe I will let you live. Yeah, this makes no sense whatsoever. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I want to get past! Except you can't because, well, you got yourself a secret here. And it's actually kind of funny how you get this. Ugh. So, there we go. Now, this other Mario imposter, he actually can't jump while moving, so that's how you jump on top of him. Man, <laughs> this is some meta shit right here. Ugh. No, I want to. Mm. Damn it, never mind. I want both of us to look at the camera, but I guess it was just simply not meant to be. Also, this room is kind of weird. So many dry bones. Remember, these guys don't die off of the overworld if you kill them, so just keep that in mind. Hey, no! God damn it. That was very fun. Also, I got 57 experience out of that because, or 54, I guess. So that was amazing. I want this guy to come out. That's the main reason why I was waiting out here. It's because he's kind of a, because I want to get back there. I want to go behind those, those J boxes, which, you know, whose name do we know that starts with a J that we've been hearing an awful lot of? Oh, damn it. Okay, and Mario reaches level 13. And even though I won the Yoshi mini game, I only got double coins for that. God damn it. But for this, we will go ahead and increase exponentially our health, I guess? That's one in one. That's also one in one, so we'll go with health, I guess. Why the hell not? Also, Peach! Peach is level 12! Or should I say Toadstool? She is indeed a Toadstool. We'll increase our attack because why the hell not? You get a bigger buff out of that, so might as well. Ugh. But there's a door back here that I wanted to reach because this has a very good item behind it. A frog coin. 
Obviously not the one I was thinking of, but a decent item nonetheless. Ooh, platforming, how do I do it in midair? <laughs> oh, what is this? Oh, this is full mushroom. We don't want that. We can also save here. Okay, so there are a couple of things we can do here, and I think we are probably better off just staying the way we are. This is going to sound very unusual, but I think I need to switch out Peach. There's one thing that I'd like to switch her out for, and that would be for Mallow, obviously. However, there's quite a nice little thing we can do here. In this chest, we've got ourselves a very strange enemy for whatever reason he decides to show himself. We've got ourselves the Hydon. The Hyden, the Hidden, the Hiddenberg. I'm going to psychopath the hell out of him. Let's see what his exact thoughts are. You! What is the question to this answer? You run away, huh? Uh, I can't, but thanks for the thought. <laughs> Um, so Gino World will show at a later date. For now, we will Gino boost the hell out of Mario here. Excellent, excellent. And once we do, now, as we know, apparently chests are not very, you know, susceptible to fire. They're quite resistant to it, in fact. So we gotta jump on it multiple times in order to do the most damage. Now, super jumping, while this enemy is standing still, might be a good idea to, you know, maybe practice here or there, save, and then reload, and, you know, just practice super jumping on him because the mechanics and the timing window for this is a piece of shit. I hate it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, now thirteen is when it sucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so nineteen is all I could do. But it's really shitty. So up until five, the timing window is extremely loose. You could jump and then time it basically whatever way you want. And that was a really poison gas, nice. But after six is when it starts to tighten a little bit. Six to eleven. And then once you get to twelve to thirteen, that's when it actually gets, you know, very tight. I know this is sounding great for all you youngins out there. But between thirteen and eighteen, that's when it actually really starts to condense to, you know, basically a three frame window from which you can activate it and then do it. Now, like I said before, I'm playing on a really shitty TV to be doing timed based things on, so I can't do that much. And I'm not even sure if the Wii U can, you know, go into component cables so that I can plug into a CRT because it's impossible. You cannot do it on an HD TV. I'm just telling you right now, especially with the input lag from the Wii U. Ugh. It's horrible. Maybe we will grab that and can continue on our way. Send me on my way. We haven't been playing for too long, have we? There's a particular place that I want to get to. Oh, and the only reason why I had Mallow there was just in case I wouldn't be able to, you know, murder the hell out of that hide on him the first time, because he activates a bunch of Goombas that come out and it's really shitty. Anyway, you come back and you get yourself a nice little bonus here of 100 coins. So, it's quite... I don't know, recommended that you do such a thing. Anyway, we actually get to a, you know, a sunken part of this ship, which is kind of amazing that there just happens to be one here, where we're gonna fight all these assholes. These are no good. Uh, again, I'll probably end up coming back here and fighting these guys a little bit later, just off screen, because we're probably not gonna get to the boss in this part, just because we already fought a boss here. Oh, god damn it. Well, I guess we can show off our little buddies here. We've got ourselves Mr. Kipper and Krusty. Krusty, Krusty Krab. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. <laughs> this is also... Shit, this is... Why did I switch Mallow out? These guys are extremely weak to electricity. So, I don't know what I'm thinking. Apparently, I just smoked a dirty crack pipe before starting recording. And I was like, ah, that's good. I'm... I'm... I'm that's fine. Alright, you stupid... Ugh. Cheap cheeps. God damn it. Ugh. Do you think they're weak to fire? Would this be something that you believe to be true? I want to try it, just because why the hell not? Alright, let's do it, but not too fast. Otherwise, we are bound to fuck up. Ooh, wow. Fire that's making its way up there is really shitty. And holy mother of god! Who would have thought that these underwater creatures would be so susceptible to burns? Right? That's insane. That is intolerable. Anyway, Mallow's gonna level up soon. This is why I moved Mallow's, because moving on to this next area... Okay, so somebody just randomly came downstairs while I was in that fight, and I just 
I didn't feel like commentating. It's just weird when somebody's in the other room and then you're just like, uh, because nobody really knows what part of the conversation or video you'll be on. So I'll be talking about some weird ass shit and then all of a sudden it's like, huh, that's weird. I didn't know this kid was such an asshole. <laughs> just kidding. But hey, for some reason Mallow leveled up now. Beautiful. Uh, we had health last time, right? I think we did. No, we did not. We had special last time, so attack. There you go, Mallow. My good friend. Um, okay, so let's go fight this guy. I think I started talking about... Ah, yes, because these guys are so annoying. So... <laughs> these bitches, Lucos, they are impervious to electricity for whatever arbitrary reason, for it appears as though nature has made them that way. Well, we'll thunderbolt the hell out of them anyway, just because I don't really care. There we go. But the other two die like little bitches, and oh god, he's gonna do solidify. For some reason, this just does a shit ton of damage to Mario and Gino, so that's no good. Ugh, damn it. Alright, so we'll kill you. Uh, actually, I wonder, is he too weak to fire? I do wonder. Let's see, do you like to live dangerously, my good friend? I'm sure it's not good. And 103. Oh, shitty. It's gonna do solidify again. If I die, that would be really embarrassing. How did that miss? How? What, what are you? He's going twice in a row? Oh, that is. No, why does he get to move twice in a row? That is shenanigans. Mario did not deserve to die there. I'm just telling you guys right now. Him going twice in a row is a farce on this game's part. How dare you? How dare you, video game? God damn it. That's fine. That's alright. We've got many ways to redeem ourselves. I think we've already have in some retrospects, but that was just a very unfortunate casualty. And we've got a safety ring. Speaking of safety things, I would highly recommend you equip these on some of your friends here, such as Mallow or probably Peach. Um, because the safety ring will guard against mortal blows. I think that's the one we just got, right? And the safety badge prevents mutant poison. Wait, I thought one of these was really good. Huh. We'll give the safety badge to probably... Gino. <laughs> you can give the zoom shoes. I don't remember putting those on you, but that apparently did very well for us. And actually, I should give this to... Uh, we will give the safety badge to Peach so she can still cast things. And we'll keep that on, on Mallow. Mr. Mallow. Or... Eh, we'll go with that. Works for me. Okay, does Mario need to be healed? I think we have a mushroom. No, we don't. Well, we could probably use some space there, so there. I used a mushroom. Are you guys happy? I don't know. Uh, ooh, there's bloopers here. Let's go fight the bloopers. Let's see what they give us. This is gonna be a long episode, by the way, in case you didn't realize. Uh, bloopers have a tendency to run away very frequently. And I do think that they actually <laughs> are kind of bitches in this. Very weak. And we got a honey syrup. I just... Hmm. Oh my god, what the hell? You can attack these things? Uh, Thunderbolt? <laughs> Get this tentacle out of my face, please? I think the bloopers in this game are actually called bloobers. I don't know. Unnecessary censorship seems very unnecessary. Were you guys trying to avenge your father? I didn't even know you could fight you guys. Because we usually just go through you. Like, look at I literally went... I'm going through you. I don't think anything happens if we kill this last one. The final lineage of the blue line. And it will be mine. I will to kill you. If I can. So just look it. <laughs> I, 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 this one's just like, I don't want to fight. I got good grades in school. I don't want to deal with this shit. Dad always said to not deal with fat Italian plumbers who can breathe underwater because you've been down there for a while. <laughs> also that room that we just walked into. Wait, can I just point something out real fast. We're underwater, correct? Correct, correct? Yes, correct. And we head inside of this door, this door that is now blatantly open as indicated by the lack of a door there. We walk in, and there's no water in here. Is there just like a wall of water just like not wanting to come in here? Is the air pressure so great that just nothing to be done about it? Interesting. I never thought of it that way, good sir. Alright. Oh, what? Okay. Should we just do this fight regular against these bloobas? These bloobas. This is gonna run away like a little bitch. Do they even attack? I could have sworn that they had like a ink attack, right? Anything? 
Anything? <laughs> It just ends. He just it was the biggest pacifist of all time, goddamn. Alright, let's head over here and continue on our merry way, shall we? Ooh, excellent. But before we go, there is this area that I'd like to go to. Hidden frog coin. Something a lot of people I don't think really know about. It's kind of a weird thing. Also very off kilter. But we shall move forward. And be, a, be on our merry way once again. Welcome to December 3rd, ladies and gentlemen. First of things that I've recorded in this month, so welcome. Oh, check it out. Arr, what's going on here? Who are you? I think the question should be, who the hell are you? You look like baby robotic shark things. Oh, he's going to let me see stars. See what you did there. Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls in the sea becomes Johnny's property. Ooh, Johnny. Johnny with the J, you say? Oh, one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. It's kind of hard to read uh, fish lips considering you don't have any. Anyway, we've got ourselves the introduction of Bandana Reds. These guys are going to be Johnny's cohorts. And they're just overall very slight bitches because they will die at... Oh, they did not die there. Well then. There. How's that? How's that for a little bit of nonsense for you? Not even gonna give you the full taste. You beautiful. No, never mind. I won't give you the full taste either. <laughs> but they like to poke and skewer you. Most of which can be very damaging to Mario, of all things. It's because he's a plumber, isn't it? It's not very nice. I'm gonna finish this guy off, and there we have it. Usually, Thunderbolt can take him out. Usually. Hmm. But for whatever reason, it was just not working out for us there. Anyway, Mario's level 14, and he learned Ultra Jump. That's amazing, but something we will never use, because it is pointless and not very good. Uh, so we're going to go with Magic Attack, because that will actually help us. And Gino. Gino's awesome. We still need to show his Whirl ability, right? Gino Whirl. That would be good. Hey, you're stronger than you look. Or are, I guess. <laughs> Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates. You mean the one that is above submerged water, or... Because we're still completely underwater, right? I mean, we had to take a whirlpool to get down here. It's uh, amazing that these things could even continue. Oh, Jesus! That was quick. <laughs> I don't see you. <laughs> you dum-dums. I'm right here. Get him, boys! What, you mean you have no female pirates on your ship? Uh-oh. <laughs> it's on us. Yeah, it's on you now, assholes. So they're gonna be up here. Hey, how'd you get up here? Oh, you, we went up the stairs just as quickly as you did. Anyway, my quote unquote luck. Uh, okay. <laughs> we don't take kindly to strangers. Only bloopers in the sort. Alright, I'm gonna use Thunderbolt again, because we've seen how good that is in the past, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, so good. Uh, anyway, I guess I could show Gino World here. Little Gino World here. Or. Yeah, we'll, we'll show Gina World here. Basically, it's a one-hit kill when timed correctly. You use it. And aside from bosses, we'll do 9,999 damage, which is amazing. Like, something you definitely want to use sometimes. But it's pretty expensive. It just guarantees a kill on an enemy, if you can do it right. Doesn't work on mini-bosses or regular bosses, obviously. Otherwise, that would be incredibly broken. Uh, but we will be utilizing it in the future. It's a fun move, and I like it a lot. Also, these guys are dead. They are dead Jolly Shocks. And I did, I did use a Lucky Jewel here because, boy, do I, do I like feeling dangerous today. Alright, this is to make up from before. Are you guys ready? And actually, I think we're pretty high on things. Oh, it's a tie. There's a lie. I was gonna do right, but then I was like, you know, I'm gonna fuck up. Pretty tough, mate. All right, I'll let you go to Johnny's place. Sweet. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Okay, so you both are going to say the same thing. You both can't let me go to Johnny at the same time. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, next time on Super Mario RPG, we're going to go and square off against Johnny the Pirate. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you then.